I wanted to share today my favorite VST for sound design. It's called Vital, it's by Matt Title, and I love it because number one, it's free, so it's really accessible to anybody who's getting started to learn about sound design and the process. It's very visual, so you could see what is happening to your sound at each step, all of the parameters are visualized so you can start to understand more about sound design and what's happening on the spectrum and it's also very modular and you can map everything to everything and so that makes it a really fun tool I'm going to make a sound today and you can follow along make it yourself or you could take a thousand other approaches and do it differently get something completely different and just start to see the tools that you have at your disposal to play around and craft your own sounds. Thanks for watching! So in this video I am using Vital to design sounds. I'm putting it into a MIDI channel I created and making sure that I'm enabled to record so that you can hear me. This is the initialized preset. I'm going to put a sine wave in um, and do some fun things with the pitch and you'll see why later. Um, so you can choose your pitch and kind of um, choose which notes you'd like to go through and I'll uh, actually put an LFO on it that'll make sense. Um, put another oscillator. I like this one. You can select through um, using this tool but this was kind of a fun one. Drink the juice. And each of these I'm going to transpose. This one I'm going to bring up to 24, which is giving it two octaves to go up. And then the other, uh, the oscillator one, I'll do to negative 24. So that's two to go down. And then I'm putting on um, some more notes that this can kind of jump around to. And I'm going to bring the unison up to 16 voices. That gives it a little bit more voicing you can hear what just a sine wave sounds like it's a little higher um, and then with the second oscillator uh, and then i'll add a third this one i'm gonna just do this classic bend it's kind of like a saw wave it's a little bend i'm going to turn the levels down of these two and all of these can route through either filters or effects down here are the filters so i can choose go to filter one filter two change the cutoff and the resonance there i'm going to turn them off right now though and then the next thing i'm going to do is adjust the envelope so in the envelope i I'm going to bring the attack out a little bit so it takes a little longer to hit and um, my sustain down and the release up so that's ADSR is what you often hear with envelopes they just sort of reflect how um, your note is playing out and um, then an LFO is what I'll do next. They have a really cool tool where you can just paint on these steps. So I am painting on just some random steps that I want the transposition of the note to move through. And you can see any of these you can drag to any parameter you want. So I'm going to drag that to the pitch. And you see how it brings me through um, the changes in my pitch. I can make the frequency go up and down. I'm going to do this again, and this time paint it on with the half steps um, for a little bit more variation in my sound design, make something kind of goofy and crazy. And I will also put that on the pitch. I actually meant to put that on uh, oscillator 2 pitch, but uh, it turned out pretty interesting anyways. I'm adding some noise here, um, just this river noise, I'm going to turn it down, but it kind of gives it just a noise, so it's a little bit um, airy. And then I will put another LFO on, and this time 
I am actually in alpha 2, move through the waveform of Drink the Juice. You can see when I go through, it kind of changes the waveform. So, um, I can also adjust how far that moves through whatever parameter I'm putting it on. So my third LFO is just sort of opening and closing. Um, and I'll put that on some of these levels to change the variation of how much the sound comes through the volume and um, adjust the range of those just a little bit by clicking on these little circles. You can change where you're jumping around. And then put that on the third one. Um, and I actually didn't like that, so I'm removing it. You can just right click and say remove any oscillator you don't like or any LFO that you don't like you've dragged to an effect. My third LFO, I just wanted to do saw wave up and then give it more of a ramp feel, so it slowly goes up. And I'll actually put that on the levels um, instead of this other um, oscillator. So what I have here is pretty interesting and generative because of the arpeggiated pattern in the LFO. I am going to also put this LFO on the randomizing. Um, so I'm also going to put the randomizer on the pitch of oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 and now you can see it like gives me some really silly sounds <laughs> and I can change the rate of these two to affect the sound and get some really interesting things. You can see 16 over 1, it takes its time at each note. I don't think that sounds as good in this case. Um, so I'll have them move through a little bit faster. And it's just kind of squiggly. Um, here are the effects. You can put some distortion on. Um, I didn't think the distortion sounded great. It turned the mix all the way down. I just wanted to show you this EQ too. You can see where the waveform is coming through. It's similar to these filters. I can turn these on if I wanted to instead and make sure you know oscillator 2 is mapped to filter 1. Now you don't hear the highs as much. And so I can open it. I can actually change so you only hear the highs. Um, I'm just going to turn that off and go back to my effects. Check out what a flanger sounds like. Pretty interesting and fun. I like to play with the flangers and see the parameters. And I love the synth because you can see visually what it's doing with the comb filter. And the phaser sounds really cool too. It almost makes it sound like drops of water. Uh, I have to be careful with phasing, especially at low frequencies. This can um, kind of mess things up, but I like how that sounds. It sounds like water in a cave, especially with the reverb. And I could play with some of these parameters here. I think I'll go ahead and save this one, and then I can come back to it later. You could drip in, drip in something. You know, find it later. And save. And now I can look and say Spira, see everyone I made, and go ahead and use them again, change them up, and 